ever pondered over the mystery behind quadratic discriminant analysis, or as we affectionately call it, QQDA. Today, we unravel this intriguing concept in machine learning, breaking it down step by step in a way that makes understanding it as easy as pie. Dive straight into the world of machine learning with QDA. This statistical method, primarily used in pattern recognition, is all about classifying different objects into categories. In simpler terms, imagine having a basket of fruits and wanting to separate the apples from the oranges. QDA helps in achieving just that, but in a more complex mathematical way. Step 1 to understanding QDA is grasping the concept of discriminant analysis. This method is used to distinguish or discriminate between different categories. It's like having a magic wand that tells you which fruit is an apple and which one is an orange. Next, we need to comprehend the word quadratic. In mathematics, a quadratic refers to a polynomial of degree 2. It's a relationship between variables where the highest power is 2. So, when we talk about quadratic discriminant analysis, we mean a discriminant analysis where the boundaries between categories are quadratic. Now, how does QDA work? It starts by assuming that the observations within each class of the response variable are drawn from a Gaussian distribution. It then estimates a separate covariance matrix for each class. These covariance matrices allow for the creation of an ellipse-shaped decision boundary, hence the term quadratic. But why use QDA instead of other classification methods? The answer lies in its flexibility. Unlike its linear counterpart, Linear Discriminant Analysis (LDA), QDA does not assume that the covariance of each of the classes is identical. This makes QDA more flexible when it comes to modeling the data. However, it's worth mentioning that this flexibility comes at a cost. QDA tends to have a higher variance than LDA, meaning it can overfit the data if the training set isn't large enough. Therefore, choosing between QDA and LDA depends on the trade-off between bias and variance for your specific problem. To sum up, quadratic discriminant analysis is a statistical method used in pattern recognition to classify objects into different categories. It assumes a Gaussian distribution of observations within each class and estimates a separate covariance matrix for each class, creating an ellipse-shaped decision boundary. While offering more flexibility than linear discriminant analysis, QDA may overfit the data if the training set isn't large enough. So the choice between QDA and LDA depends on your specific needs and the trade-off between bias and variance. So, the next time you're faced with a classification problem, remember the basket of fruits. Imagine the magic wand of QDA separating the apples from the oranges, and you'll have a good idea of what this powerful tool can do. This has been a journey into the world of quadratic discriminant analysis. It's a fascinating world, where mathematics and pattern recognition intertwine to create a powerful tool for classification. So, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, the world of machine learning is as exciting as you make it.